Hello and welcome back to the channel, Old School Garage. Today I'm going to be rebuilding the grill of the Dodge L1000. Um, this original grill is fiberglass. I believe they were all fiberglass. I don't think there were any uh, special special grills out there. I will be doing both sections as there is an upper and then a lower grill. The lower grill took some abuse simply for the fact that it was required to tilt out away from the cab every time that the cab tilted forward. So I want to make it a little bit stronger and to do that I'm not going to build it out of fiberglass mainly because I've never worked with fiberglass. I don't know really anything about it although I could learn but I'd like to build it out of aluminum because I think that would be a cooler grill in the end. So right now I'm going to discuss a little bit about what's going on with the grill because the original one was pretty beat up. So as you can see, a lot of the grill is still intact. The fiberglass is completely fine. But then you get to these little joints right here and you can see where it is just completely splitting and breaking apart. Here obviously it's, it's missing. Um, right here, this is a part where it was tilting where the hinges are so that the grill tilts out just a little bit to clear the front of the truck. They, whoever owned the truck before at whatever point, I think this has been on the truck for a very, very long time, probably since the seventies. Um, they put a plate back here to secure this center piece and it worked really well until I came along and tilted the cab for the first time in 20 years and everything was froze up. Same thing over here, just completely split. So I've got to rebuild this grill. There's, there's no doubt about that. This little guy is a lot better off, but still you can see the fiberglass is starting to fail in certain areas. Now, this doesn't do any tilting at all, but you can see wherever it was screwed in, it started to crack a little bit on every screw hole. So, again, just make it out of aluminum and then I won't have to worry about it. All right, so I've been doing a lot of prep work behind the scenes trying to get stuff ready so that I'm filming good parts of this. I'm not going to show all the welding as that would take forever in a video and I don't have a way to film the welding process right now of like close up and showing the actual weld pool and everything like that. Although someday I would like to get into that. So I'm going to start with this guy because I've already started a lot of these pieces. Um, to make these weird uh, center grill pieces, took a three quarter inch angle iron and a one inch flat piece of angle. Could have definitely had someone break it on a, uh, like a finger break or something like that, but I chose to weld it together. So I've already got one of these bigger sections done. It's already been ground and cleaned up so it's ready. Here's one that has not been ground yet. So I've made these little guys, just got to grind this guy yet. And now I've got to start measuring and getting all my measurements correct for laying in all the other pieces. So I've got my outers. All my outers are done. They just need to be welded together. And everything generally has, I believe it's a, a 10 degree bevel, not a bevel, but angle inwards, if you want to call it that. It is not 90 degrees. So this is a 90 degree bend right here. This guy isn't. So everything had to be cut at 10 degrees. 
so that it lays in straight. I'm not trying to change the look of the grill. I want to maintain as much of the originality as possible. Um, there, there's little things that I'm gonna end up losing. For instance, on the bigger grill, these center section pieces, this top flange that I made is gonna be a little bit longer or wider. Has, it's gonna have more depth. The same thing with these little inner structural pieces because I did measure off of this smaller grill, whereas the bigger grill does not have the same size pieces. So I was trying to keep it all the same. First of all, for cost of getting stock, to keep it all the, the same sizes is a lot easier to manage and the cost, you're getting longer runs and you can keep you know just those longer runs and cut them down to what you need. So yeah, I'm, the next step for this guy is I gotta grind this piece right here, grind it down, get everything straight and flush, and then I have to bevel my, my corners, make sure that it's all rounded off nice and neat and even. And then I will have to then notch this guy right here, wherever it's gotta be for this center support. So that this will drop directly in and once i have that done i will be able to assemble the outer frame using these pieces right here and then assemble it weld it all together and then drop these center pieces in and we'll be done with the inner part of the grill and then i have to make this outer flange which i don't know any of those dimensions yet because I don't want to skip too far ahead because I am welding a structure right now that has a lot of weird contours because it is fiberglass. It's not perfectly straight. It's, it's been heated before, most likely on the road. It, sit, it sits right next to the radiator. So the likelihood of twisting is very possible, especially if the cab twists in any way. Um, so I'm just going to get this main inner structure done and then I will be able to work on this outer flange and get everything completed here. So definitely a lot of work, a lot of prep work because it's aluminum, uh, but I think it will be wor well worth it in the end. So, so I'm ready to start tacking everything together. What I'm gonna do is tack everything together with some very solid tacks. And at each point where the aluminum is put together, I'm not going to put these center pieces in yet because I have some grinding and mainly I need to go check on the truck to make sure that the grill will fit, that my measurements were all correct. Nothing is going to collide with the body of the truck, uh, the radiator, anything like that. So I'm, I know I'm straight on that front and then I can begin doing the finishing welding. section this is the bottom section. Oh, yep this bottom section I'm gonna fully weld and make sure it's completed and then I will end up shortening the top because the short the top is all 90 degree cuts so that's a lot less work that I have to do with measuring and getting the correct angle cut correct so that's my next step four is finishing the welds here and then shortening this guy in. I'm gonna go about an eighth to a quarter of an inch in. 
just to give it some extra clearance. I've already checked it on the, the original grill and that's kind of where it's at. So I was too exact with the aluminum and I think that's really because the aluminum is thicker than the fiberglass. But it's what it is. able to make a lot of progress off camera. I was able to finish all of my internal grinding on this piece specifically. I was able to get this center piece uh, ground down. I did all these outer edges. So I basically had to, I took quarter inch aluminum stock, one inch wide stock, and beveled the edges down so that they're nice and smooth and they match the original grill. So, let me grab y'all. As you can see, I've already contoured some of the welds. They'll need probably one more final go over, but there's gonna be quite a bit of filling that I have to do for these corners. And I've got to line all this stuff up yet and get all that straight, but I now have to tack this inner edge. Okay, so I got to get this completely tacked, my sides completely tacked, and then once I'm done with that, I need to go check the fit, make sure it fits on the truck, and then we are ready to drop these guys in and I'll give you all a little spoiler I don't know where these are gonna go yet I gotta measure all that that is gonna look good so and then I'll have to round these corners to match it and fill every, every crack and then grind it all down and make sure it's all smooth and it, it flows correctly lots of grinding left but it'll be worth it in the end. I was originally gonna paint these grills, but after seeing them in aluminum and tacked up on the truck, I, uh, I'm i kinda leaning more towards the bare aluminum look. I'm still probably gonna end up painting the backside so that there's it's easier to clean and it won't corrode on the backside because um, I wanna keep a layer of separation from all the other aluminum so that this grill doesn't get corroded from the corroding cab. So, lots of welding left and uh, lots of grinding. All right, I'm out by the truck right now. Obviously I have the insert in. It's still very tight. It fits in very snug, especially on the top. Um, but I have everything tacked in. So I'm getting an actual view of what it will somewhat look like. There's still some grinding I'm gonna have to do on this top plate back here, this guy, to get it to fit a little bit better. But I know my fitment is correct now. Everything that I've been doing is, it's working. So at least there's that going for me, but I've got a lot of little, little uh, corner welds here that have to be completely filled. All of these have to be filled out. And then I've got some nice little gaps on this side. The issue that I encountered because 
this is such thin aluminum and after doing the little bits of welding in, in the corners and in the center these guys like to get a little bit warped so finding square is really almost impossible you don't you'd have to uh, pull a tape from this way and this way to check for squareness but even then if I'm just trying to check for square to line these up it's not as easy so these are gonna have to be blended by hand all the way around into these flat plates I left some extra meat right there so hopefully the weld will drop in nice and not flush but just above flush and uh, if I keep the amps up I should be able to get some good heat into it I don't want to get full penetration through the eighth inch aluminum I can in the quarter because it's not I won't be I'm not running enough amps to fully go through the, uh, the quarter but this eighth inch I need to keep I cannot go through it because of how tight this is on the back side these corners need to fit in here so lots of progress but still a lot more welding to go I have finished all of my welding of the outer plates here for the smaller grill and I have filled in the corners a good amount they're gonna have to be filled on the end when I round them off but overall the welding came out pretty decent um, I'm not like an experienced aluminum welder so I'm happy with my results um, there are a couple times where it was quite hard to control the puddle and what I mean by that is the quarter inch aluminum and the eighth inch aluminum you can definitely feel which one heats up first and that would obviously be the eighth inch aluminum um, so keeping that heat in the quarter inch plate was a lot harder um, I didn't over penetrate at all I didn't get any weld in here 
So I'm really happy about that. That was one of my main concerns, uh, mainly for fitment on the truck because it is such a tight fit. So the next step is smoothing. I have to smooth all this weld out. So this will become flat and I have to return an arc to this edge or um, an arch or a bevel to this edge and make sure it's nice and smooth and it has a contour to it to match the older grill. So you can see right here, I did a little test piece of grinding. So that's basically what the whole grill is going to turn out to be. So it's a whole lot of grinding, especially in these corners, filling these in right here. That's going to be some work or grinding these. So I'm going to use a mixture of things, whether it's a flapper disc or a, uh, a sanding disc and then some hand sanding to do some final blending. But the scotch brights, scotch bright discs are going to be doing a lot of work here to keep it as smooth as I possibly can. But I also have to keep these edges very straight because if I let them wander too much, you'll see them. Uh, for instance, on this edge here, you can, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's it wanders a little bit just because my grinding was not kept perfectly straight. So is that really a big deal? No, but the more you can minimize that type of stuff, the, more, the better off the, the piece will come out. It'll look better. So I've got a whole lot of grinding. I'm not going to do any of it on camera because it's just grinding. Um, but the next time you will see this, all these edges will be completely smoothed out. All right, so I finished all of the corners and blending in the, the top plates and getting everything with that. Um, Getting the rounded corners really started to make a huge difference on how it looked. Um, I am ready to start welding these in, and that is like what the next thing I'll be showing. But I just want to take a second and while I'm in the middle of it, show the differences right now um, of the two grills because they're starting to get quite close in, a, um, in the look. So, as you can see, I've gotten very close to matching the original. And these will have welds right here, and they'll be blended so they match this. I'm going to do my best to keep the weld as small as possible so that it does have a tiny little corner. But if it ends up like this, I'll be happy with that. So the big difference is this guy is around an eighth to a quarter of an inch uh, taller. That's really about it. Everything else is pretty dang on point. And it really is, <laughs> it's something to look at. Um, I was really wanting to paint this, keep it white or paint it red, whatever the original color would have been. Uh, um, it would have matched the truck when it came off the factory line and I really liked that idea but seeing the aluminum grill in person I'm kind of dead set on keeping it aluminum so I'm most likely going to end up brightening it using an acid to etch the aluminum and then if I don't like that I'll return it back to this brushed look but it is very similar and the only thing that I'm really on the fence about right now is whether I want to put studs in on the back of this so that you don't see the screws or if I keep the screw holes. But you'll see the difference when I show, show it on the truck after I've completed all the welding and the grinding. So the next little bit, I'm going to show a little bit of the welding. I'm not going to show all of it, but I'll be welding all these joints, top and bottom. And then I have to go through and grind it all away and make it nice and smooth and contoured. And uh, the next time you'll see me is when I'm hanging it on the truck to uh, get a good glimpse of what it'll look like.
All right, well, I said I would be showing the grill on the truck and uh, it's dark out. And the way that I, I use scotch Bright on this, you're not gonna be able to really tell uh, like all the contours and everything. There's still some finish work that I need to do. I need to fix this little guy right here. Um, I can see that in better light and I'm just gonna wait till I'm less tired and a little bit more observant to do all that finish work the like fine stuff and getting things to the 100 percent point but i'm fully done with all my welding and i am thoroughly pleased with this this is the part that i need to re or grind more but Everything's nice and smooth. It came out really good compared to the old grill right there. Man, I'm proud of this guy right here. That took some work. So I will be posting some pictures on my Instagram. Uh, it's at Old School Garage, so you'll be able to see still photos of this grill on the truck. Um, but the next video will be the lower grill of the L1000, which is that guy over there. I'll be redoing that one also in aluminum. But I've got to get some more uh, stock to finish it because there's some, like I need some thin plate and stuff like that, sheet metal. So I hope you enjoyed this little bit of welding video that I did but um I don't know if there's very much to learn from it because I didn't show anything up close it just took a lot of work a lot of grinding um and a lot of polishing but I think it came out really good so let me know what you think down in the comments uh don't forget to like comment subscribe um other than that I ain't got nothing else for y'all I am very proud of this i'm definitely leaving it aluminum though so i'll see y'all in the next one y'all have a blessed day